Number 1 Fundy National Park Many of the attractions that make New Brunswick so appealing to tourists are directly related to the Bay of Fundy and its tides. The highest tides in the world, which can measure up to 19 meters deep, occur twice daily in this funnel-shaped bay, and over the millennia, these rushing waters have carved a coastline marked by dramatic cliffs, sea caves, and fantastic rock formations. Number 2 Hopewell Rocks The Hopewell Rocks look quite different at high and low tides. When the tide is in, they appear as tree-clad islands, which you can view from a series of platforms connected by stairs. At low tide, they become giant, deeply eroded sea stacks towering above a rocky beach, and you can descend the stairs to the ocean floor to walk among them. Number 3 The Fundy Trail Parkway The Fundy Trail Parkway is a scenic coastal drive that lies northeast of St. John. It starts near Street Martins, once a bustling shipbuilding community, and continues along the coast. Number 4 Street Andrews by the Sea The Bay of Fundy attracts as many as 12 species of whales and other marine animals, who gather here in the summer to have their young and to feed on the abundant krill and fish brought in by the Fundy tides. Number 5 Roosevelt Campobello International Park Campobello Island is accessible mid-June through September via ferries from mainland New Brunswick to Deer Island and on to Campobello, and by bridge year-round from Lubeck, Maine. Though part of Canada, it has strong cross-border connections, including the historic Roosevelt Summer Estate that's the centerpiece of Roosevelt Campobello International Park. Number 6 Fredericton's Garrison District A British garrison was stationed at this site alongside the Wide Street John River from 1784 to 1869. Today, two blocks of heritage buildings and grassy lawns lie between Queen Street and the river, becoming the center of summer festivals, walking tours, and historical reenactments. Number 7 Kingsbury Garden New Brunswick's premier botanical garden enjoys a climate tempered by the Bay of Fundy to grow more than 50,000 perennials in a series of themed gardens. The floral displays are breathtaking, but beyond the garden's beauty are the horticultural lessons it teaches about organic and sustainable practices, garden design, and how gardens fit into their landscapes and ecosystems. Number 8 Boyce Farmers Market Each Saturday morning, a steady stream of Fredericton residents head to Boyce Farmers Market, one of Canada's top 10 community markets, and it's worth some advanced trip planning to join them here. Number 9 Historic St. John Prominent among the early settlers of St. John were supporters of the British Crown, who arrived on two fleets of ships from Massachusetts, families escaping the American Revolution. These and subsequent loyalists shaped the character of the city, as they did much of southern and central New Brunswick. Number 10 Grand Manon Island Accessible only by ferry from Black's Harbor, the island of Grand Manon is a tiny fishing community near the mouth of the Bay of Fundy. A road follows the sea along its 35-kilometer length, with a few side roads leading the 10 kilometers to its precipitous western shore. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.